Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm making a cake plate. I got this plate from the dollar store along with that candlestick holder, and I got two different colors of spray paint at Walmart, and I spray painted both the plate and the candlestick holder. As you can see, here's the finished product here. First, I sprayed one of the plates, and here is what it ended up looking like. I didn't realize that it had a shiny coat on the top. The bottom spray painted so well, I did that first, and when I flipped it over to do the top, it didn't want to stick. So my husband had told me I, I should have sanded it first, which I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, so instead of sanding it, which I could have done, and then respray painted it, I had decided I wanted to put a border around the plate. So I had another plate in my stash. So I sanded that one first and spray painted the top part. I didn't need to spray paint the bottom because I will be gluing it to the second plate. That way you won't even see it. And the reason I chose to do this is when I add my scallop border, it will hide the second plate. Will it, It'll be tucked in between the two plates. So here's the spray paint that I used. It's called Cool Breeze. And here's the candlestick holder. It turned out so pretty. This one is called Coral Wreath, I think. And I got both of those from Walmart. Here is a paper scallop that I cut from the Cameo. I will put the design number in the description box below, along with the Wild Orchid craft products that I use. So it did all the scoring for me when I cut it out from the Cameo. So I'm just folding along those score lines. If you do not have a Cameo, you can actually cut these by hand and you would just want to trim it um, in order to bend around your plate. Just like you would normally do if, you, if you're um, going around something, you would have to cut slits in it. So I'm setting this up on a, uh, another little bowl that I had in my room just to get it off of the desk. That way I could glue this on. And I'm simply just putting it up against the edge of the plate right where it wants to fold and using my hot glue gun and gluing it down. Very simple. I was going to put lace around this, but I actually liked the way the scallop looked better. So that's why I chose to go with paper. So again, I'm just following it around, adding hot glue. And I believe I did, um, I needed four of these. I, I got, I cut out about six, but I only used four and I didn't even need four total. So when I go to add my second one, I just butt it up against the first one and again, continue to glue it around. This only took a couple of minutes to do. Very simple. When I come to the last one, I had to cut it off, but I didn't want to cut it in the middle of a scallop, so one of them did have to overlap just a tiny bit, but that'll be the back of my pie plate, and you won't even see that. By taking my hot glue and running it around, it'll get rid of most of those glue strings. So now I'm going to adhere my top plate. I'm adding some E6000 around the entire plate, and then I'm adding a, a little bit of hot glue. And the reason being is the E6000 takes a little time to dry. The hot glue will adhere immediately while the E6000 is drying. So it holds it in place while the E6000 is drying. So now I'm going to be adding my flowers. If I were to do this project over again, I think I would have added the flowers before adhering my plate onto the second plate. I'm using the Magnolias QVR028 and the white chrysanthemums MKX117. There will be links to both of those in the description box. And I'm just cutting them apart and bending my stem. So this is the part I think I would have done before adhering it to the second plate. I think I would have done this first. So I'm just grabbing a bunch, cutting them apart, getting them all ready. And as you can see, I did some of those off camera. And to adhere them down, I'm using the exact same thing. I'm using E6000 along with hot glue. I wasn't sure how the hot glue alone would hold these on as far as um, duration. 
this is this is obviously for decoration this you cannot use this as a real cake plate um, although maybe if you put a doily down you could but I would be afraid to get any cake on these flowers so I plan on keeping this in my craft room for decoration but again for for duration I I wanted to add the e6000 because I know with the e6000 that this will withstand um, time it, it'll hold up for a long time so again the hot glue is simply to hold it in place giving the e6000 a chance to dry so I just went around my entire plate alternating one of the magnolias with one of the chrysanthemums and I loved how it turned out I wasn't sure before I started this what exactly I was going to use or what flowers but I did know that I wanted to start with a scallop trim around it so I'm adding on my last one again taking my hot glue getting rid of any of those extra glue strings and now this is when I decided I wanted to add some flat back pearl again from Wild Orca Crafts this is such a beautiful trim and I'm going to try and show you here how I'm going to do it but I realize I, I'm not able to do that so unfortunately you're not really going to be able to see what I do here but I'm simply adding it to where the two plates meet that way it covers the border of the two plates and it also covers the border of my scallop paper so I'm just using hot glue and going around the entire thing this was very quick quick and very simple to do and I started at the very back where those two scallops overlapped I made sure to start adding my trim at that point now on the bottom it's I'm going to add my cake stand as you can see there's some scratches to the bottom so I will simply just go back and touch those up with some of the spray paint just by painting it on with a uh, paintbrush. Now the E6000, you want to really let it sit overnight. I put some heavy pencils on it, and I did decide to add a little tool in between each flower. So I'll show you a little bit closer here in a moment what I do. I'm just taking a tiny bit of piece of tool, and then I'm actually cutting that in half, and then I'm just folding it over on one edge. I'm gathering it on one edge, as I'll show you here tucking it in between the two flowers and then adding a little hot glue and I'm using um, a paper piercer it's the back of a paper piercer to push it down that way I don't get burned by the hot glue and I'm again doing that through in between every single one of the flowers when I'm done I will then trim it off because I don't want a lot of the tool sticking out I just wanted to add a little bit throughout and then like I said you will see me trim off the tool and I do have some detailed photos coming up that hopefully you can see better pictures of all angles of this so I hope you've enjoyed this was so much fun to make I'm so happy how it turned out I've always wanted a really pretty cake plate for decoration so instead of buying a real one and just letting it um, decorating it I thought I would make my own so I hope you give one a try and check out Wild Orchid Crafts. They have some amazing products. The links will be in the description box below. Come find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks so much for watching.